Hello again, it's Rick Baxter. Now I'm hoping yesterday and the day before you actually went to your computer and did what you saw me do on the screen. Maybe even watched the video, the training segments two times and then went and watched that the screen, especially on that requisition worksheet. I went fairly quickly there, but I wanted you to see how the requisition can actually generate all automatically the uh, inventory for the purchasing. Now what we're going to do today is we're going to report on that information. We created those purchase orders which I call committed cost and we're going to learn how to create a basic report that shows in detail the current committed cost over on the purchasing side. So I'm going to tie all three of these videos together and just give you a sense because this is a very integrated system I want you to see how this all works so let's get started I'm gonna go fairly quickly because you can always hit pause if there's something that that I covered too quickly um, but um, you know so here we go so I'm gonna go now what you're gonna see on your screen is the development environment so I'm it's a little different look and feel as far as currently where they're locating the uh, the reporting tools. So I'm going to go into tools underneath object designer it's called object designer this is the current objects that are available this will be a little different when version 7 comes out but reports will still be here so this will be reports and we're going to create down here a new report so I'm going to create a new report and we want this to be a committed cost report so I'm going to go to the table of the purchase orders, right? That's where the committed costs would show on the purchase order. So I'm going to scroll down. And if you think about it, there's two ways I could generate this. I could do it from the purchase header, which is the top part of the purchase order, or I could do it from the lines and actually show the details of what I am purchasing and what those committed costs are for. And I think this is more appealing to me. It's more detailed information as far as what I'm ordering so I'm going to use go right after that purchase line table to generate this PO committed cost so I'm going to okay that so it's the purchase line table I'm going to create the report with the wizard and we're going to meet Mr. Wizard right now when I press OK so Mr. Wizard says which fields from the purchase line table do you want on in your report the available fields are listed here on the left side you see all these are all the fields that are available to to print on the report and the field order is over here on the right side so as you select the field so I'm just going to select the document type we're going to select who we're going to buy it from we're going to select the PO number we're going to put in the type field, the number field, I'm going to select several here. The expected receipt date, I kind of like to know that. I like to definitely have the description of the item. The quantity, probably should show the outstanding quantity. Let's go down, here's unit cost, I think that would be helpful on there. Let's go down a little bit further. Here's the amount field, I want that on the report and I could put the weight I think I'll not do that the volume the other thing I want is the outstanding amount I just happen to know that field because I've taken the class already so I'm gonna go to O for outstanding amount I just type the letter O and it takes me there so this is the open amount of because there may have been some partial receipts so this is the outstanding amount on those POs and that's where I'm gonna grab that committed cost from Okay, so my next, so that's that's the field order right there. It's listed down. Pretty simple, right? So I'm going to go next, and Mr. Wizard says, "Do you want a special sorting or grouping of your data?" And in fact, yes, I do. I would like to see them, see these items by vendor. So I want to sort this thing. Let's see if we can find a key. What's called a key is document number and buy from vendor number. So this is a perfect key to use, so it sorts it exactly the way I want. And then I'm going to say next. See, I just step through this. Mr. Wizard says, do you want to group your data? Yeah, I want to see it grouped by vendor number, not just by type, which would be like sales uh, purchase quote, purchase order, that type of thing, credit memo. I want to see it by document type and vendor number. Let's go to the next one. 
Now he says, which fields do you want to create totals for? See, it, it walks you through step by step how to build these reports. It's so simple. I just say amount and the outstanding amount. Those are the $2 amounts. Now you might total quantity, but I don't know. Um, probably not with, with the inventory item mixed. But dollar amounts, definitely. Okay, so uh, let's see if next. Which style of report do you want? Uh, there's list style and document style. Let's go, uh, we're going to do a list style. Documents are more like for an invoice kind of thing. We're going to do a list. This is a report. So we'll say, uh, oh, now, there's no more next. So that means I'm at the last step. And I can preview or finish. Now, I typically just, me, I'm kind of, way I do it, is I typically go finish. I don't actually preview the report even yet. I want to basically save the work that I've done. So I press escape and it says, do you want to save the changes? I simply say yes. And now I put in the uh, report number, 50,001. It's that wrong number, 50,001, which is a special number range. I cover that in the video that's specifically designed for the end users of the software. And we're going to call this PO Committed Cost, something like that. Okay. And I'll say okay. And now it has added that report right in with all the other hundreds of reports. It's 50,001. And now I can run it and do a preview on it. So I hit run and I'm going to specify a document type, which will be order. And I could even specify a particular vendor that I want uh, only want to see his items. But let's not. Let's, let's get all the uh, open purchase orders. And then I will preview this report. And there it is. It puts the header in nicely for me, the headings. Uh, it's subto subtotaling by each vendor. You see that? And if I slide over a little bit. Now, oh, right here, oh, I've got a little bit of a problem there. Some of this right there, it looks like the report got a little bit wide uh, for the paper. So I'm going to do a real quick fix for you here. I'm going to go back into the design mode, watch closely, and I'm going to change the orientation to landscape and print it across the page instead of up and down portrait, which is the default. So that's the only change I'll make. I'll save and compile that. Now let's run it again. And I this time, we should be just fine. So I'm going to run it again. Let's slide over. There we go. Outstanding amounts. You see them. They're totaled there. And then if I just come on page down, I can go to page one, page two. See how long this is. Ooh, there's some big committed cost here on this report. Yeah, $5 million worth of committed cost uh, outstanding for uh, all of our vendors. So you can see very quickly I'm able to generate and notice the nice detail too. I see a listing of all the parts, the expected receipt dates, the purchase order information, who the vendor is, all of that's all automatic. Very, very quick to generate your basic reports. Now in the training class, for the reporting training class, what you would want to do is learn about the role tailored training as well. You need to learn about the classic reporting because the role tailored extends this on into the role tailored side. So quite frankly, you need both classic and uh, role tailored report writer training. Okay, that kind of wraps up the um, the three days of, of kind of uh, interactive, a little hopefully interactive. You've done a little training work uh, along with me here. Uh, for your um, for when you uh, opted in for this information and I do appreciate that I do want to encourage you to uh, consider talking to some of the uh, uh, somebody management or whoever needs to know about all these great training materials that you've been learning about here and say oh you need to take a look at this share this freely with um, whoever else in the company and please please consider 
buying some of our full in-depth training classes on all these different products. We have wonderful classes for you on Dynamics NAV and I will send to you tomorrow a complete catalog of all the classes so you know exactly what's available. So thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it and feel free to go back and re-watch any of the videos that you've seen so far. Thanks so much and have a great day.